Hola señoritas y señores, yo estoy el caballero muy guapo y magnífico, the gringo Sir Knight. Practicing Spanish, because it's just all coming back to me, mysteriously, high school or something. Anyway, today, review time. I've been waiting quite some time for this to come in, ever since my good buddy Mythic, when I was looking at new helmets, he was like, hey, don't get that one, get this one. This one just came out like last month, that's really cool, it is the TMC. Cry airframe, but this is the 2018 version, which comes with this little knockoff Wilcox shroud that looks kind of cool. So, nifty helmet. It's for a replica. It is definitely heavier than I was expecting it to be, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. So, I've been looking at Cry airframes for a while, been wanting to get one because this whole passive ventilation thing, just, uh, I don't know. Having my head bake in the ACH helmet for a very, very long time now. I've been trying to think of a solution. So initially, what I'd gone with, as I had reviewed earlier, was your FMA sort of maritime helmet, which is arguably much lighter. The plastic's a bit thinner. Doesn't have a lot of flex to it, but it's a cool thing. Velcro is kind of stiff and rough, but it's not bad. It does its job, and that's all it really needs to do. This is a pretty comfortable helmet, all things considered. It's got the same knockoff straps and everything. You can get your little pads. This thing fits pretty well, and it's super light. Now, in comparison to the airframe, this is the large version, and of course, the sizes, the key problem you have with replicas, is the size is never going to match up to the real thing, because they're going to have a wider tolerance, so they can make two types of helmets, instead of making four different sizes, and it, it kind of sucks. So, in retrospect, I had ordered this in a large, because in the official airframe, I looked it up. My head size, for those curious, if you're the type who takes measurements, or you're trying to see if I have the similar head shape to the watermelon you keep in your refrigerator, is 56 centimeters. You can convert that to inches. I've lived out here so long, it's it's just chaos. I don't want to... I measured it 56 inches. I'm not doing any conversions. That's on you. I was good in science class. I can do metrics. So, 56 inches. Pretty good. Um, no, not in the sort of eugenics fashion. We're not talking about that. It's just sizing... It's not how you, you don't measure someone's weight and try to determine what nationality they are. But 56 centimeters. Let's continue on with the story. So 56 centimeters. The actual cry airframe, according to the website, the cutoff from medium to large is 55 centimeters. So I can probably, with thinner pads, get away with a medium helmet. I do like mediums. Medium's what I wore in the old Pasket and ACH Mitch 2000 setup. The one I did have was a large, but that's just because large is all anyone could get. So, I ordered the large in this one. Now, the cutoff for the TMC, however, is 57 centimeters. So, bit of a problem there. So, to compensate for that, we've got to get creative, because ordering a new one in medium is just too expensive. Also, they don't sell medium and tan for whatever reason. At least not out here in Japan. Your luck may vary, so... Once you've measured your head, do keep that in mind. So, this does still fit, and it fits just fine. Yeah. I've worn an H nape in forever. You get that set up, get your H nape and your chin strap going, and you're pretty solid. Now, this is a fantastic little helmet, by the way. But you're going to see there is a good deal of shake, and that is mostly going to be caused due to the larger size and everything. So, we can compensate around that. It's pretty light, so I'm not going to throw my neck out or anything, and also you're not going to be whipping your head all over the place like it's cool you're generally going to be doing smoother motions and everything anyway unless someone's behind you then you're like oh snap so nifty helmet the ventilation does work i sat with it with my fan behind my head and just blew air into here so let's cover a few things real quick so first off fox wilcox mount pretty sexy i like the design there's not really any place under here for the uh little bungees they were initially just connected here in the front so i made them look a bit sexier by poking them through here. Now you could, presumably, get the cool, more modern bungee that initially mounts in through here, pops out through here, and then does some nonsense wraparound thing and hooks back up here. I don't remember how it went, but it looks something like that, and it was pretty cool. And everyone loves it, so. Now, other things to consider, it does have a bit of heft to it. The bungees are secure. It's got the arc rails. I got that over there. Ignore that. Got the arc rails on here. It's got the fancy little thingy. I guess this is a guard rail, so, you know, if hypothetically you have, like, a little Super Mario character and you're walking around, you have a guard handrail so you don't fall off or something. 
I don't know exactly. I'm sure it's something important, but I just don't know. You got your little tabs back here. So it's a pretty good replica of an actual rail. It's also got the clips here. Now, as you may remember, I'm gonna throw this on again real quick, sorry. As you may remember, I had made my own custom face mask. And by custom, I mean I did minimal sewing required to get these clippies on the end of my mask here. And of course they do work. And of course it's in a different position than I remember. I'm gonna have to feel this one out. There it is, come on. Obey me, I guess I could just look at the camera, huh? But anyway, the moral of the story is it works. That's the thingy, there it is. Yay, and we get one. And we go over here, we go, come on. You know, I'm probably just gonna have a teammate do this for me in the future, just as a heads up. So this is kind of nightmarish to do on your own. I mean, you can, but yay. So we have a face mask and then the goggles just fit right up in here. And yeah, so that looks pretty cool. We'll get that going. We'll have, I'll probably extend this out because once we got the swords adapters going on, we'll have extra space for that and we'll still be able to Will we be able to run the camera off the ear? I don't know. Things might get a little tricky, folks. We'll see. But yeah, it's a cool option to have. So the padding has been updated as well. As you can see, we've actually got a realistic sort of helmet padding set up here. So you got the two thick, uh, everything's a three quarter inch impact pad. And you've got like four up here in the front and then three back in the, towards the back. And they all sit pretty well. Your vent is going to be right in here along this line and that's where all your air is going to blow in so or all the heat's going to blow out either way you're going to be a lot more comfortable but yeah without thicker pads or anything we're going to have a bit of difficulty so what are we going to do is probably your question and the simple solution because way back in the day when i was playing with the iron tigers and whatnot we well, we, we got protex protex was the go-to helmet because well like 80 dollars or so shipped so one of the first things is you have a basic skull cap. Now skull caps are really nifty. I got really into these from wearing a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, Protec helmet. So what this allows us to do is it gives us a pretty solid rough surface on our head. These don't work well with Opscore because Opscore is already such a tight fit. But this gives you a far more secure base for the padding to connect to, which means you're going to get exponentially Ah, reduce shake. Not perfectly, mind you, but any amount helps. Getting the shake out of there is pretty useful, so. Still gonna be pretty nasty for that big stuff though, but yeah, that's one of your easier solutions to help out. I'd like to get thicker padding or something. I'll probably end up getting the uh, Team Windy padding set up because I heard fantastic things about that. Swap this out also with a cam fit and we'll probably be able to get better, a, be a lot better setup, but yeah. And the moral of the story is it's better to have your helmet way too large than way too small. So, I don't know. If I end up getting, if someone throws me like a bunch of money and is like, go get a medium helmet, then we'll give that a shot, see how well that fits. But in the meantime, I is poor boy. I need no sympathy. So yeah, the Velcro, by the way, is super fantastic. It actually sticks on the helmet really well. And it's got the cool modernized shapes and stuff going towards it. Got your little tabby up here. Got your cool, I guess this is for your IR light strobe. Yeah, it's for your IR light strobe piece here. They've got this cool sort of U shape here. I guess it stands for victory or something. Uh, it just does, does this when you look at it and you can interpret that however you choose. So yeah, cool stuff. There is no low back rail here, but this does give a lot of extra coverage down here, lower on the nape, which is something unique to the airframe. And yeah, it does have that bigger front shell now. It's a cool little piece. I do really, really like this. And I might go get a medium just because of how much I like this one. Once medium comes back out in me uh, tan. And well, actually, you know what? I might just get a medium in black. Or no, in green. And swap over the tan rails to it. Because I can do that sort of thing. Make my own custom helmet setup. So yeah. I'm going to get a uh, fun little helmet cover for this in the future. So I can keep the ventilation. And... As you can see, there's a bit of scratching and stuff from just saying this down on the ground. So whatever paint they used, it is going to get some dings and stuff in it until we get a helmet cover on it. So stuff to bear in mind. Ultimately, pretty cool. A bit heavier for the uh, knockoff helmets, but it's nice and thick. And looks like it'll give pretty solid protection in a very, well, the ballistic version is probably a lot better. We'll put it that way. But yeah, 
it's pretty cool. It looks gnarly, and I really like it. So, been wanting an airframe, and the good thing about replicas is you can get an idea, at least conceptually, of what you're looking at without investing all the big money beforehand. So, heavier than the Ops Core, but most likely to provide exponentially improved protection and also keep your head from melting, which is a huge problem I've had. And it's been the cause of me basically requiring all sorts of rehydration fluids over the past few years. Not a fun time. There's, you don't like jumping, you don't like skipping the, let's just say if you're over 21 anyway, you don't want to skip the drinking part and jump straight into the hangover. Unless it's soju, because you're not going to remember either way. If you're really lucky, you won't remember the hangover either. So yeah, fascinating little helmet. I love it. A bit too big. I'll probably do something with the pads or something to make that all work out. Probably going to absolutely suck to attempt to run uh, nods on it, but... You know, at some point we'll pick up a medium and everything will be okay. Right now I've only, I haven't seen too many on the American websites, but finding them in Japan isn't too hard, at least in the uh, large size. So, cool piece, really like it. Fancy, solid made. The uh, Japanese propaganda vans are driving around outside and hopefully the microphone doesn't pick those up because they're loud and annoying and I hate them. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else there is to tell you about this. The uh, rails are solid. They've got Cry Precision logos, logos and stuff. Things I'm sure you wouldn't get away with as effectively in the States. Arc system. Bungees. Shroud. America. So yeah, at some point I would love to get the actual ATX ballistic version. But this gives me a really solid idea of what I'm looking at. And that fills me with uh, happiness and sunshine. My sweet wal walrus. So... There you go. Cheers, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. This gives you a cool concept. You're probably going to want to go with the medium. I've got a pretty large head, and the large barely fits me, so... TMC-wise, probably go medium. Actual-wise, I'm definitely going to get a large. But, hey, there you go. Cheers, everyone. And uh, I'm excited to actually get my sword ins mounted onto this, because with any luck, that'll also improve stability. But as far as this goes, nifty helmet, nifty pads. The pads are actually pretty high quality. Actually, let me pop out this front one here real quick, because they actually come with more logos and stuff and information for you when they say hit pad. So yeah, comfy helmet, just a little too big. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. The ventilation works fantastic from what I've experienced in hit. It's summer here, so perfect time to test it, right? So it also looks sexy as hell. That's what I love about it, but we'll start adding things to it other than our little camera here. And uh, actually, as long as that's going on, let me... See how well these rails work out. Get that in there. Oh, yep, that slides right off. Free enough for a arc rail mount. This thing kind of, I think it's designed to make me upset. So it never sticks into anything like it's supposed to. But yeah, you can mount the camera to it. And that's kind of cool. It's probably not going to be as comfortable as it could be, but hey, it works. So yeah, cheers everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really like how that part looks back there. See if I can straighten it out. Yeah. Also, always represent. So, cheers everyone. See you in the next video.